Hello everyone, I am Dharmesh Mehta. At present, I am pursuing my MS in Pharmaceutics at Naipur Hyderabad. Presently, I am also running a WhatsApp group named PharmaLite where we are daily posting 5 questions along with the solutions. To add yourself on that particular WhatsApp group, text me your number on 9870842390. Make sure it's only a text and not a call. Also, we are having online test series starting from 2nd of January 2018. So if you want to add yourself for that series as well, you can text me on my WhatsApp number. So moving ahead to GPAD short type of questions part 7. So basically in this whole video we will be talking about the various hormones. So hormones of anterior and pituitary gland. So they are the most important ones, the luteinizing hormone, the prolactin hormone, ACTH and MSH. So they are being secreted by gonadotropes for prolactin and lactotropes. So you can have straight questions which particular hormone is secreted by what basically what is the releasing hormone and what is the inhibiting hormone for the same so you just need to buy out this particular chart for the same going ahead the principal actions of various hormones for action point of view these four hormones are more important based on the earlier papers so basically going talking about hgh thyroid stimulating hormone follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone the principal actions like HGH stimulates liver muscle so basically it is stimulation and elevation of blood glucose level while if you go to thyroid TSH so it stimulates synthesis of thyroid hormone follicle stimulating hormone so in females it will initially cause development of oocyte and then the ovarian secretion so it's basically based on the name you can understand what is going to be the principal action but I had this as well so this is an important chart I feel whether what are the various pituitary hormone derivatives and what are their uses. So if you see bromocryptin, it is a prolactin inhibitor used in cancer therapy. Desmopressin, which is an analog of ADH, is used for diabetes insipidus. Going ahead to luprolide, which is an analog of ACTH, used for infantile spams, urofolitin, analog of LH used in infertility, then nafarin for JNRH used for treatment of cancer. These are basically the one which were asked earlier in few papers. I just picked up them and just put it together. Coming ahead, what are the other hormones and their principal actions? So thyroid hormone, calcitonin, so these are basically from thyroid gland, thyroid hormone, calcitonin and the parathyroid hormone. Control of the secretion and the various actions caused by them. So it's basically thyroid hormone causing increase in the basal metabolic rate. It stimulates synthesis of proteins, increases use of glucose, while in calcitonin, lowers the blood level of the calcium and the phosphate. And when you go to PTH, the parathyroid hormone, they increase the blood calcium and magnesium levels both. While the most important one, they decrease the phosphate levels. Compare it with calcitonin, it is decreasing both calcium and phosphate. Move to PTH, PTH is increasing calcium and magnesium while it's decreasing phosphate. Be thorough with this, which one is increasing, which one is decreasing. Moving ahead, what are the various gonadal hormones and their uses? So basically, even this is very important slide. So basically, tamoxifen it is used for breast cancer, diethyl stilbosterol, which is being used after contraception. Estrogen and progesterone, oral contraception, mifepristone artificial and oxyndrol anabolic so basically be thorough with this as well